Hey guys, it's your girl Jada coming at you guys with another video. Um, this video is going to be about some shoes that I purchased at Urban Off. So this video is long overdue. I've made this video about three times. This video, like every time I try to upload it, it doesn't work. And I don't know if it's because my computer is not doing it properly or what. I have no idea, but... I hope that this is working. I hope that you guys are hearing all of the sound and everything. Like, if you guys are having a hard time hearing it, I apologize in advance. But, um, yeah. So, I think only two of the shoes that I got are still on the site. Just because I had I received these shoes in early September. No, sorry. That's a lie. Mid-August, I believe, I received these shoes. Just because I wore one of them on Labor Day weekend. So I know for sure that I got it. I did purchase it in um, August. However, I'm still going to do a review on them just because I, I I love the site. Like the site has like wicked, wicked, wicked shoes and for a reasonable price. And like I say in all my videos, I'm a chick on a budget. I'm with a budget and I'm with a bargain and I like to look good but not break my pocket. So with that said, going straight to the shoes. The first one that I got is Alicia 2. It came in this box. Size 9. Yeah, I'm 5'1 and a little bit. <laughs> and my feet are flat. Like, I mean, like a board pancake type flat. So I normally would wear like an eight, eight and a half. But in shoes that I don't, that I can't try on ahead of time, I make sure that I get a size 9 just so that if it's too big, I can always put like a, a insole in it or something to make it feel a little bit better or fit better. So the Alicia is this shoe. Now, this shoe, I don't know if you catch it. This is obviously not real leather, and I was afraid when I got this shoe, I... I wanted like a, a new, like a grayish color type of shoe, but I was afraid that it was going to look real cheap and real matte, like real or too shiny or too dull or you know what I mean? And not look real. But as you could see the shoe, like the detail in the shoe, there's no stitching coming out nowhere, no nothing, like nothing. And like, I didn't even take the sticker off the bottom. I haven't worn this shoe, but, I mean, I walked around in my house in it for about 15 minutes, and I can already tell that this shoe is not going to be the most comfortable shoe, just because it's extremely high. But with that said, to walk in is very easy because platform. Platform just gives you that extra glide in your step, that pep in your step type of thing. So, shoe is really, really nice. And these will look good, look good if, like, even if you have, like, a ripped up jean and you, like, roll the cuff kind of, you wear it with, like, a, a, a white tank or a colored tank or, you know what I mean? Like, these are, they're just cute shoes. Like, these are shoes I would rock on a Thursday night if I'm going to a lounge or something like that, right? These are the shoes. Yep, so... next shoe that I got is a shoe that I wore plenty of times. I wore these shoes when I was in Brooklyn. I wore these shoes when I went to Long Island. I wore these shoes when I went to Michigan. I wore these shoes when I went to a banquet. The shoe came in this box. It's the Champagne or the Kimsa. I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> and it is oh shoot these promise as you can see like that's how flat my foot is that you can see it kind of like pushes you know what I mean like it's supposed to be narrow like this it kind of pushes but it still shapes my foot real 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 nice and like I said with the platform you can never go wrong these shoes are so comfortable I went to a banquet and I stood up for, I don't know what, 
I don't know, maybe two hours, three hours. I even helped serve at one point and I didn't feel nothing, like nothing. Only thing with these, again, with the platform is I would suggest make sure you cut your toenails because the next shoe that I'm going to show you really, really, the first time I wore it, did my foot terrible, terrible, terrible. So yeah, this is the other one. Really good. And I also wore the, the type of material, like I wore these when it was raining one time and no, nothing. Still clean. Still clean. Yep. So that's those ones. The next one I got is a tie for my favorite between this one and the other one that I'm going to show you. These ones are the Glaze um, Camilla Fuchsia, size 9. There's a story that goes with this too. So I got these shoes and I was so in love. Like I didn't even try to see if they were comfortable or whatever. And I'm going to show you guys actually. So I got this dress from H&M. The dress is crazy. Crazy, crazy. If I can find a picture, I'm going to send a picture of how I wore it because I wore it with these shoes. So I didn't even try them on. I was just like, yo, I see the shoes. I'm going to try them. I'm, I'm going to rock them. They look so hot. So I go to a Bears Hammond concert and it's a stand-up thing. All night stand-up. No sit down, no chairs, no nothing. I didn't cut my toenails. I wore these end of August. Didn't cut my toenails because, you know, in the summertime you would like... For your toenails to be a little bit long so when you put the design or whatever it makes it look a little bit better or whatever right so i didn't cut my toenail so you see the first two three hours i'm jamming i'm like yes you know what i mean like it was bomb i was even making fun of my girlfriends i was like ha. they were like yo my feet is bunning me i'm like yo my feet feel nice i'm like yo get like me you see after five hours pass I was, I was, my feet was on fire. But what happened is with these shoes, because of the round toe of them, if you have fat, flat, fat and flat feet, you have to make sure that you cut your toenail so that the toenail is not bending. Because it's like, this is my toenail, and this is the beginning of the toenail, and this is the, the tip of the toenail. It was flipping over like this. So it's like, the, the bed of my nail was like lifting up till it was burning. So I would definitely make sure that when you get these type of shoes that you make sure that you cut your toenails because it's not going to be pleasant. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite. I wore these out and even when I was late, I seen everyone watching my foot. They were like, yo, where this bitch get those shoes from? Because they're hot. And even when I was leaving and you could see I was walking, I was like stepping. I'm like, oh shit. And this girl was like, yo, but no, your foot up on your ceiling, but your shoes look good. And I was like, yes. I'm like, you know, even though I'm wild and I'm walking like a hot mess, the shoes still look nice. And these are the shoes. Now, trust me, the light doesn't even pick up how sexy these shoes are. They're fuchsia. Fuchsia, fuchsia pink. Fuchsia pink. <laughs> so. I wish the light could pick it up for you. Like, I wish the light could pick it up. How? Hmm? Yo, trust me, the light's not even picking up the color of the shoe. The light's not picking up the color of the shoe. I wish I wish it would pick it up like it's fuchsia it's so bright it's crazy 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 for outfit ideas this on leopard crazy gold accessories crazy 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 combination yeah these shoes are bomb 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 and when I first got them and i just put them on initially when they came out the box i couldn't even get my foot in so i'm like oh shit don't tell me these shoes are so nice and 
my foot can't go in. But what happened is, is that's why they're so comfortable as well up top here too, because it fits so perfect. Like you have to make sure that you pull the tongue up so that it's not like, you know, squeezing you or poking you like in here. And this is what the inside looks like. Glaze. Yeah. Shoes are fire, fire. next shoe that I got like for some reason I think with this shoe probably it was like it it, it resembles a name brand shoe because when I, I wore it to Niagara Falls and even my boyfriend was like yo what's what's the problem like why is everybody watching your shoes like that so I, I don't know if maybe they resemble a name brand or a designer shoes because for some reason I don't know, these shoes got about a lot of attention. But these shoes came in. Oops. Sorry guys. These shoes came in this box. Oh. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. <laughs> okay, yeah. So these shoes came in this box. Stylix. Kimona Kimona Leopard. So And these were the other ones that were tied for my, with the pink ones, because these ones, yeah, they're just, they're fly too. But I can't choose between this one and the pink one, so they're, so they tied. Good system. Yeah. So. Let me just tell you now, when I read the, if I had listened to the reviews, I probably wouldn't have ended up buying a shoe that... It's too big because these shoes definitely run a half size maybe even a whole size too big these are a size nine and I probably should have ordered a size eight or eight and a half probably probably only go with a half size so that your toe is not hanging out I mean my toes are short and stubby so even if I ordered an eight it probably would have still worked for me but yeah definitely definitely order at least a half a size big or maybe a, a, a full size big if you can add like an extra insole but these shoes are so comfortable i wore them up and down i walked up and down niagara falls up and down up and down and i felt like i was wearing sandals to be honest with you so it's very comfortable So for the leopard shoes, I paid, um, I think it was $35. For the champagne colored Kems Kemsa, I, those were on sale. I got those for $17. What happened is I originally ordered them in a red color, but I guess the red color had some kind of defect on it or something. And sh so they emailed me and said to me, do they want me to ship out my order with without that particular shoes or do I had the option to choose a different color and I was kind of like okay just send it without send my order without the shoes but then I looked at the champagne color now I, I said you know the champagne color looks it looks nice still so let me give it a try and I'm glad I got them too so those were $17.99 on sale make sure you when you go on the site www.urbanog.com you look on their sale stuff because their sale stuff is just as good as their new items and stuff like that so don't don't sleep on the sales section don't don't really don't do it because they have some banging shoes and the glaze i know those ones are expensive i know i think i paid 35 or 40 bucks for those ones the fuchsia ones but well worth it i would even pay 50 bucks for those shoes and the gray one the elisa in gray i got also got those ones on sale and those ones were 19.99 i think so yeah so altogether, my purchase came to, I think, including tax, maybe one thirty or something like that. And then I used a coupon code that I saw on the internet. And what happened is, make sure that when you're purchasing the stuff, you look to see whether which one will give you, which one will give you a better discount because. I I calculate both of them and I use their if you order fifty percent off. If you order more than $50 worth, you get free shipping. But because I live in Canada, the shipping, it, it only took off maybe, you know, 
20 bucks, 30 bucks. But with the 20, 25% off, it took off the total off of all four shoes. And it also took off the total off of the two ones that were even on sale. So I ended up paying like 116 when that was including shipping everything. So yeah, again, Urban OG is the site to to order classy, nice shoes if you want at a good price. And also too, every single shoe that they have up there has a mannequin with the shoe on. So you can see what it looks like, what part of the toe will go where, what hole in the shoe will go where. And for people like me who have flat feet, that is like, that is beyond important. That's, I don't even know what to say. What's beyond important? Like that helped me out so much because there were even shoes that I saw that were like, those look nice and I saw it on her foot. And I was like, no, where that hole is can't work with my foot. So I was like, on to the next shoe. So really good sight for those of you who have issues with flat feet or no, um, or broad feet, you know, and also a good good sight for people who don't have any issues who have itty bitty feet, you know what I mean? So, uh, check out the site www no, only three w's www.urbanog.com. All right, thanks guys, take care. I can never find the stop button.